Okay, so we have now EI theta B equal to 0.75. And solving for theta B, that would be equal to 0.75 over EI. So actually, this is the slope at B. So if E and I are given, so we can determine the slope at B in regions. Okay, so we substitute it back to the slope deflection equation so so that we can now determine the end moments okay so from our equations last time diba maone no so substituting we can have mab so ei theta b is 0.75 no so we have karibanga equation no, so we have 0.75 over 3 minus 18.75. Okay, and that is equal to negative 18.5. Okay, and then MBA is equal to 2 thirds EI theta B. So that would be 2 thirds EI theta B is 0.75. And then plus 18.75. And this is equal to 19.25. So all of the units, all of the moments is in kilonewton meter. Okay, then we have MBC. Okay, our MBC is EI theta B minus 20. And our EI theta B is 0 0.75 plus a BC minus 20. So that will be equal to negative 19.25 kilonewton meter. And then our MCB is equal to this one, 2 thirds MCB EI theta B over 2. So that would be 0 0.75 over 2. And then plus 20 equal to 20.375 uh, kilonewton meter. So, you can also check that at joint B, the sum of the end moments MBA plus MBC equal to zero. So, ma-check ni mo ni, no? So, kinahanglan ka ni sila, i-add ni mo mo zero. So, you have 19.25 minus 19.25. 0.25 is equal to 0. Okay. So, after determining the end moment, okay, so, imo na nang i-apply sa imong span. Okay. Then, solve for the reactions. Okay. So, take note of the sign. No? So, on span AB, so, this is your span AB, and you have a concentrated load of 25 kilonewtons. This is 3 meters, 3 meters. Okay, so, AB, ang iyang moment is negative 18.5. So, kung negative man, so it is counterclockwise. 18.5 kilonewton meter. So, ang negative sign will tell you of the direction of the moment. Okay. And MBA is positive, so that would be clockwise, 19.25 kilonewton meter. Okay, so we can solve for the shear here or fraction. So this will be AY and this one BY. Okay, so how to solve for AY and BY? Mm, very easy. So you just sum up moment at A equal to 0. You have by times 6, by times 6 is equal to 19.25 plus uh, 25 times 2 minus 18.5. Okay, so solving for by, that would be equal to 12.625. Kilonewtons. Okay, next we sum up 
moment at b equal to 0. So, you will have ay times 6. ay times 6, pa yung dito. Assume ni mo siyang upward. So, that would be 20, equal to 25 times 2. Ay, times 3, sorry. So, this is 25 times 3. Pero, correct. Kaya po na answer. 25 times 3. Um, plus 18.5 minus 19.25 and AY will come out to be equal to 12.375 kilonewtons. Okay, so on the other span also you have for member BC this is BC and it is Loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 15 kilonewtons per meter. Okay, what is our end moment BC? So, BC negative 19.25. So, on some direction, counterclockwise kay negative man. So, 19.25 kilonewton meter. And for CB, that's positive. So, it is clockwise. 20.375 okay so we solve for the shear at b or by on member bc and cy so this is a length of four meters okay so summing up moment at b equal to zero we solve for cy times four is equal to you have 15 times four times the moment arm two plus the moment 20.375 minus 19.25. So we can solve for CY equal to 30.28125 kilonewtons. Okay, we sum up moment at C equal to 0 to solve for BY. So we have BY times 4. Is equal to five fifteen times four times two plus nineteen point twenty five minus twenty point three seven five. So we can have by equal to twenty nine point two two seven five. Pero pwede na po mo round off, no? Okay, ako walang na round off para accurate ang values. Okay. So, we have now the reactions. Now, on number AB, so this is now our uh, continuous beam. So, ang atong AY as computed is on member AB is 12.375 now there is a joint b duhaman na ka member no nag connect so b a o b c so ang imong b y on member a b is 12.625 ang imong b y on member b c is 29.71 8.75 Now, they have the same direction. So, imong i-add. Pero, ang opposite gani ang ilang direction, i-minus ni mo, i-carry ni mo ang direction sa bigger value of the reaction. Okay. So, again, ang imong BY sa AB is upward. Ang imong BY sa BC is upward. So, imong i-add. So, i-add ni mo sila. So, ang imong total Reaction at B is now equal to Sila na mga sila ang imong i-add Okay, so that we equal to 42 42.34 Sa mga nidi, kukaklaro sa ang agi 42.34275 Okay, so ito na lang i-add para ma-check. Okay, so we have uh, 
plus 29.71875 okay so 375 kilonewtons and your cy is 30.28125 okay so we can now draw our shear and moment diagram okay so for our shear diagram okay so we have a y upward so that would be positive zero load so constant shear so this is 12.375 minus 25 and that is equal to 12.625 minus 12.625 so you have an upward reaction at b equal to 42.34375 minus ni muna sa 12.625 and that is equal to 29.71875 okay actually makita ni muna dali sa imong pag compute ganila no so, mama na siya dari mong BY. So, that is 29.7185. Okay. And then, you have a uniformly distributed load. So, linear ang imong uh, reduction. Since that is downward, so minus. If you subtract, subtract it by 15 times 4, you will get a value equivalent to minus 30. 0.28125 and then naka CY nga upward so your shear diagram will close okay for your moment diagram okay so naan naman tayo na solve nga MAB diba ang value sa MAB is Okay, from here, we have MAB is minus 18.5. So, it is minus, so counterclockwise. So, 18.5 kN meter. And our MCB is clockwise 20.375. Okay, so we can now draw our moment diagram. So, we have a moment at A. Counterclockwise, so that would be negative 18.5 plus this area. Okay, so that is equal to 18.625. Then minus this area, and that is minus 19. So I check na lang ninyo, no? Minus 19.25. Yeah. By ratio and proportion, you can solve for this distance. This is equal to 1.98125. Uh, 1 yeah. This to that is equal to, say, minus animo. That is 2.018. 125 2.018 75 okay so you have a negative 19.25 plus that area area of the triangle you will get a positive 10.19 then minus that area, it is equal to minus 20.375. And you have 20.375 at C, which will close your moment diagram. Okay? 
so next is even if it is not required to draw the elastic curve for example ang um, problem is analysis or analyze the beam shown kung analyze gani so you should have your shear moment diagram and then the elastic curve okay so for example we are we are required to determine the elastic curve okay so we draw the elastic curve so imo ipamutang ang mga supports para na kay guide nga dili ka mo displace that portion so mo ni mo mga support no okay si pang project ni mo ang mga zero moment sa obos okay so this is negative moment for negative moment on say curve sa elastic it is concave down so zero at the fixed then concave down so ato lam na exaggerate na mga curve and this is positive moment so it is concave up and this one to there is negative so concave down and then positive moment concave up and the negative moment concave down na zero pa ingon sa support okay so this zero moment is what we call our points of inflection okay so at that point zero ang moment so it is not a critical section okay so unsa may relationship ana sa design okay so meaning kung positive moment compression at the top tension at the bottom so kani ganhi paingon dito ana ka magbutang og bottom bars okay and for negative bending moment so it is compression at the bottom and tension at the top okay so ana ka magbutang og rebars sa top kung negative ang moment so kung magdesign na ka okay to na lang ni anamdaan so kung magdesign ka this is your beam itong dako on for example and that is your roller there okay so dere nga portion negative a moment so ang imong reinforcement na sa ibabaw okay kani positive bending so ang imong reinforcement na sa bottom okay dere sa may support negative so top na pod ang reinforcement dere sa bottom as a middle bottom and then top okay now it doesn't mean nga kung top ra ni what well, your enforcement dere actually na gihapon okay pero pili gud na nimo put down pero kay wa may kahawiran sa stirrups to hold the reinforcement so na agihapoy at least minimum of 2 no so kung imo nang i section near the support your cross section will be like this and then naa diha imong reinforcement depende sa imong design no kung unsa ni gawas na agihapon nay duha diha kay ang imong paghawid sa mga reinforcements so sa middle Okay, mo po na imong cross section. So, ang imong main bars na asa bottom. Yan, na alam mo kayo duha dito nga mo hold sa imong reinforcement. Okay, so actually, i-continuous lam na dito. And the same is true with the other uh, span. Okay.